she had put poison on her breast. So when Krishna saw uh, Putana coming, he was just six days old, very, very small baby. He closed his eyes. So our acharyas have explained, why did Krishna close his eyes? One thing was, because here's a demoness in the form of a lady, and he knows he's going to have to kill her. So this is inauspicious. Another thing is that uh, he didn't want to see anything so inauspicious as this demoness. Putana came in, and she saw Krishna, and she could see this very powerful baby, like a sword in a, a scabbard. So she took Krishna on her lap and put him to the breast. She had this very, very deadly poison on her breast. Krishna, still with his eyes closed, he began to suck her breast. But he didn't just suck the milk, if she had any milk. She didn't just suck the milk, but she sucked out her light bear. He sucked out her light bear. She began screaming, Oh, baby, child, child, get off, get off. She was trying to pull, pull Krishna off. Later on, when Krishna was older, Mother Yashoda, uh, when she was feeding Krishna, and the milk boiled over on the stove. So she said, oh, get down, I have to attend to the milk. And Krishna was hanging on with all, with all his might, with his arms, with like a baby, a monkey, with his arms, with his legs, and also with his mouth. And Mother Yashoda just put, with one arm, put him off and put him on the floor. Nah, get down. But Putana, being so strong, more powerful than Kansa, who's more powerful than 10,000 elephants, couldn't pull Krishna off. No love. So Krishna is thinking, oh, you come to me. I don't want to let you go. And then Putana, she began to fly away. She assumed her real strength. She flew off to Mathura because she was hoping that Kansa could save her. But she didn't make it. And she fell down on the ground. Actually, she fell down in, in Kansa's pleasure garden. It broke everything. So, she assumed this huge form, 8 miles long or 12 miles long? 12 miles long. So gigantic. Then, Mother Yashoda fell down in a faint. Everyone was so perturbed. Very, very inauspicious signs were coming. And they all ran and ran and ran. And then they found this gigantic body. Instead of a very beautiful lady, her teeth were like... Uh, the plowshares on a plow. Her mouth was like a cave. Uh, her breasts are like mountains. Mm, what else? Huh? Abdomen like a lake. Very horrendous. Look. And there was Krishna simply playing on her breast. So they took him off and they dusted him with dust from a cow's tail. And then they performed uh, purific purifying ceremonies. And Mother Yashoda chanted elaborate, chanted elaborate mantras on every part of Krishna's body to protect him from further harm. In the meantime, Nanda Baba, he'd gone to Mathura because he thought previously he'd been a little lax in paying his taxes. He really hadn't respected Kansa Maharaj. But now he thought, I've got a baby, I want to make sure there's no trouble with Kansa, so we're going to pay some taxes. So he'd gone to Mathura. And in Mathura, he met with Vasudev. Vasudev didn't want to let on that he knew that Krishna was in Braj, in, in Vrindavan. So he, he said, oh, I'm very happy to hear you have had a, a son in your old age. How is he? And how is Rohini's baby? Like this. And then he said, you know, there's going to be very serious disturbances in Gokul. I think you should go straight back. So Nanda Baba then, he took these words very seriously, and they began to go back, and then on the way back, they saw this gigantic body, and he said, oh, Vasudev must be expert astrology, he could see these disturbances coming. So after this, they stacked up, they cut up the body, and they stacked up wood against the body and burnt it, and there was a very beautiful aroma, because the body of Putana had been completely purified, they had been touched by Krishna, and Krishna had sucked her breast also. And wonderful to relate that because Krishna, although she came in a very treacherous way, offering a, a semblance of maternal love to Krishna, but still Krishna accepted her in the capacity of a woman, a mother. So she got a place in Golok Vrindavan, not Gokul in Braj, but in Vaikuntha Vrindavan, 
when it, where uh, Krishna's worship in Aishwarya, she got a she got the uh, position as assistant to Mother Yashoda there. So afterwards, Uddha, he was very astounded. He said, Aho Bakiyam, oh, just see that Putana, she came trying to poison Krishna, and still Krishna gave her a place just like Mother, as a, a nurse. So who is more merciful? Of whom else should I want to take shelter? Because we want to take shelter of a very merciful personality, so most merciful personality means that he'll give the most mercy. So here we're situate, situated at the Lotus Feet of most merciful personality. And with this I shall end my speech. Hare Krishna. <laughs> We have one announcement. Sri Padmada Maharaj is reminding that tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock a.m., the initiations, the devotees who will be taking initiation from Srila Gurudev, they must prepare themselves and come to Srila Gurudev's house prior to that time at about 8.30 a.m. And they should be prepared with a clean cloth, tilak, uh, the men should shave their heads before they receive initiation from